How is everyone tonight? Good. Right, we're going to have a chat then. <laughs> Let's have a chat. So the opening chapter is entitled The Book I Said I Wouldn't Write. It is. Why didn't you want to write it and what changed your mind? <laughs> um, um, well, I didn't want to write it, I suppose, because um, I didn't want to write the conventional rock uh, autobiography. Um, I always said I wouldn't write the conventional rock autobiography. When the first book is, it, it's, I, I, I kind of just really enjoyed writing it so much. I really enjoyed writing Cold Black Mornings. I really enjoyed the whole process of it and releasing it and kind of being in the book world. It was kind of like really pleasant, actually. And I think partly because, of, because it wasn't my kind of main thing, it gave it a bit of space for me just to enjoy it. You know, yeah. with music, when you're releasing a record, it's so I'm so sort of like super kind of conscious of how it's been received and because it's everything you know and with writing a book it was it, it, it was a side pro I don't mean to, I don't mean to sort of belittle it because it wasn't you know I, I I cared about it a lot but because it wasn't the main thing it gave me space to enjoy it I think and I enjoyed writing a lot so I thought I'd try and write something else I'd try and write the next chapter um, but what I didn't want to do was write the conventional rock biography thing. So I wanted to try and find a, an entry point. And the, my entry point with this was, was, was writing about um, myself and my journey through the kind of like the machinery of success mm. and what that did to me as a person and write it almost as a, kind of like writing it, almost looking at myself as a, as a specimen or looking at myself as a sort of like, a, you know, almost like a laboratory rat yeah. kind of thing going through this machinery. You, so you set out that intention quite clearly, um, as you say, which is to use your personal experience to shed some light on that machinery yeah. and show the toll it takes on the people that are involved in yeah. it. Yeah. To what extent do you feel that you succeeded? <clears throat> um, well, I, I mean, that's the sort of everyone else to say, really. I mean, I, I, it's, I think it's an honest account of, of, of what happened to me. So in that sense, I feel kind of happy, happy with yeah. it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's, it's supposed to sort of throw some light on kind of um, the reality of what it's like going through this. And I think that, 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 that it's, it's sort of strangely um, kind of, it's strangely hidden, that reality, in a funny mm -hmm. sort of way, because you tend to get, most rock biographies are written about a persona by a persona. And what I wanted to do, do with this is write about a persona, but by the real person kind of thing, and to try and sort of like reveal what actually happened to me. And I think you do get kind of like books about stardom and about the fame machine, but they tend to be written by people that haven't been through it. They tend to be sort of like almost cultural analysis from a, a almost like from a, from a, from, a, from the third person. Kind of.